In this second tutorial, we will model real-world situations using absolute value inequalities. So if you would turn to example 7, we will look at our baseball problem. A professional baseball should weigh 5.125 ounces with a tolerance of 0.125 ounce. What a tolerance is, is sort of a margin of error. This is the average weight of a baseball. We could add up to 0.125 ounces and still have an acceptable weight, or we could subtract 0.125 from here and still have an acceptable weight. So that's what a tolerance is. It's sort of a margin of error, a give or take. So part A, write the absolute value inequality that describes the acceptable weights for a baseball. Let's first write in words what this model would look like. We're talking about absolute value. What happens is we have our actual weight will come first, and then we will subtract our average weight and that's what's going to be inside our absolute value then we would have a less than or equal to and then the tolerance goes out here on the outside so let's put this into our algebra so we have our absolute value the actual weight well we don't really know that's our variable I'll just use X and then a minus sign. Our average weight is given to us in the problem. That's 5.125. And that's measured in ounces. And then less than or equal to, and of course our tolerance is given to us in the problem. That is 0 0.125. So this is our absolute value inequality. And that's how you do it for any type of uh, problem like this. We put the average uh, value in here, whether it's a weight or something else, and then the tolerance, the, the margin of error, goes on the outside. And we have a less than or equal to uh, right there. So we can solve this like we've been solving. We can make our x minus 5.125 is less than or equal to our margin of error. And, this is an and, x, excuse me, the opposite of x minus 5.125 is less than or equal to our margin of error. I'm going to solve these quite fast. I'm simply adding this, and I will have 5.250. I'm going to divide by my negative 1, which will, of course, switch my symbol. And, of course, over here, switch the sign. And then when I add the 5.125 here, I will have 5 point, I'll just put 0, 0, 0. So these are our acceptable ranges. Remember, this is one and the other. So I'm going to put x in between these two values, the 5.000 ounces and the 5.250 ounces. And I like word problems to end in words. So that is our acceptable weights for a professional baseball, somewhere between five ounces and five and a quarter ounces. So we've answered part A and we've answered part B. Part C is interesting. It says, what change would you make to your inequality to, to, to describe the rejected weights? Well, if our inequality is right here in the blue, and these are all of the acceptable weights, the things that are less than or equal to the tolerance, then it would make sense for the rejected weights to be the same exact thing, except instead of less than or equal to, something that's greater than that tolerance. And that is the symbol that would change if we're talking about the rejected weights. So that's a good looking problem. Let's look at one last example. Here's our last wor real world example. A sleeping bag manufacturer suggests that one model is best suited for temperatures between 30 degrees and 60 degrees. Inclusive. Inclusive means that we get to include those two extreme uh, temperatures. Write an absolute value inequality for this temperature range.
Okay. Well, the first thing that, so this is sort of working backwards. I have now the acceptable um, degrees, I guess I'll say in this problem, the acceptable degrees. So somewhere uh, X is in between these two values of 30 degrees and 60 degrees. I want to put this back together into an absolute value inequality. The first thing that I probably should do is figure out what is the average temperature. And the average temperature is basically adding these two numbers together and dividing by two, finding the exact middle point between 30 and 60. And of course, that is 45, I'll say 45 degrees. So that's our average. The next thing I'm going to need is our tolerance. So if 45 degrees is our average, I know that between 45 degrees and 60 degrees, our tolerance is 15 degrees. Because 60 take away the 45 is 15. Or because 45 take away 30 is 15. There's 15 degrees error, I guess, on each side or, you know, margin, tolerance between the 45 and the 30 and the 45 and the 60. So there's our tolerance. That's an important number. And here's our average. That's an important number. Let's put this all together into our absolute value inequality. I'm going to continue to use x. x minus my average, which is 45, will be less than or equal to my tolerance, which is, fi which is 15. And that'll do it. If you'd like to try solving this and make sure that you're going to get the number between 30 and 60 inclusive, that's great. But that's how we can write that absolute value inequality. Thanks for watching this quick tutorial, and we'll practice these real world examples in class. All right, see you then.